so for the next session, I am going to talk about op Um <clears throat> So in our recommendation and also in official WhatsApp recommendation, a user must first consent to receive message in WhatsApp by opting into uh, them via WhatsApp or a third party channel. So this will give user the expectation to receive a message from your business so that it keeps your phone number from getting reported or blocked by users. This can be any channel your business is to communicate with people today, like your uh, WhatsApp thread, interactive voice response flow, which is ICRS, WhatsApp, uh, web website, app, email, SMS, offline, retail location, etc. These are all possible. And you must follow uh, uh, some requirements when obtaining the opt-in. Uh, the best practice is that you must clearly state a person is opting in to receive a message over WhatsApp. You must clearly state the business name that a person is opting in to receive message from. And to continue to optimize for their user experience while obtaining the opt-in, you could uh, uh, explicitly call out the type of message that person is opting into. So let's say if you are sending delivery updates, in the opt-in message, you should mention that uh, you agree to receive message through WhatsApp uh, and these messages are about delivery updates. <clears throat> and even though you got the opt-in, do avoid messaging the people too frequently because you will still get reported uh, if you are doing this too frequently. Uh, and you also provide instructions on how customers can opt out and uh, honor these this request. So here is an example, as you can see. <coughs> um, uh, the business uh, told the user. Okay, so please wait for it load. Uh, for the user to open, and they will be receiving uh, shipping updates from website. Or it can be as simple as an opt-in inside the WhatsApp conversation by simply, simply clicking a yes or no button. 